Welcome to a Delco Nerd Network hot take. If you haven't seen a hot take before, well, it's where a few friends get in a basement, give our thoughts, give our opinions on a TV show, a movie, or a game. Today, it's going to be a game, and that game is Marvel's Avengers. As always, here to discuss, Chris Tria. Gucci, how are you? Good. They call me Gucci, Anthony or Gucci. How you doing? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here to talk uh, the Avengers. Um, Gucci, just yeah. bo- broad spot, broad, uh, ugh, I can't speak, broad thoughts. What do you think? Just, well, I I hate to say I told you so with this one, but I mean, not, not that I'm not you, yeah, but yeah, man, like I, I don't something's feel like- not sitting right about this game, and it wasn't sitting right in the beginning, and it wasn't sitting right right as it came out, and I beat it, and I'm like, okay, still not. There's something about it. It's just like I don't think the way Crystal Dynamics decided to do this model was the right way to do this. I would agree with that. Um, you know, we had the our last Marvel game was Spider-Man. That was super successful. Fantastic. A single player open world game. I think that's what people wanted and we didn't get that at all. Yeah, no, it's uh, like I I thought the game was fine to be honest. I thought it was like a, like if I really had to give it a number it would be like a 7 for me. Like I really I I, I would say like a 6 or a 5. Really? Because, like, yeah. I think the game, like, the characters themselves play so much fun to me. But it, but it's the environments that they're in yeah. that I don't give a shit about. For the char- you know what I mean? Uh, to your point about the characters, I think some of them play better than others. And I think that, like, they're not, they don't, none of them play, like, trash. But I think, like, Iron Man, for example, and I guess Thor, because they both fly. Their flying doesn't work when they don't have the room to do it. No, exactly. Yeah, and, and flying is janky. Like I feel like, like let's let's like just talk about that point real quick. Like Iron Man, like quintessential. I guess he flies, yeah. right? It's not like the Spider-Man swing, but like that's the kind of thing I think when you make an Iron Man in a game, it's like okay, like the flying needs, needs to be, be pretty, pretty much perfect, yeah. just like the swing needed to be for Spider-Man, and like and they're gonna have Spider-Man in this, so I'm wondering. How right, so it's it. like how do you live up to like yeah, like we've seen perfect gameplay with spider-man with swing and then like the iron man flying just feels so clunky i felt so, like, like at, okay like this is the bare minimum of i actually didn't i be. didn't hate his flying by the end like i really i did i thought it was a little clunky at the beginning but once i got a hand on it i actually really enjoyed he was probably my favorite character to play as him and thor were probably my two my top two mm-hmm. um i also really like the hulk but yeah i don't i think that there's a pretty interesting idea here in the way of like Man, they could have this Avengers game where, like, you have these f- six different campaigns that you can go through as, as different characters, but the campaigns aren't very... There's a few cool ones, but, like, they aren't very distinct. And I think that's truly where this Wait, game... Wait, what isn't distinct? The, 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 like, single campaigns for each character. Like, I oh, think there's some... right. But it yeah, always ends they're... up with you fighting these big, gigantic robots, and I think where the game shines the best is when you're fighting those boss fights, fights like, with Abomination and... and uh, yeah, the one and Taskmaster. The two times you do you it for fight, each of them, which and it's is annoying once. that like we didn't like we kept getting all these robots, which were sometimes fun to fight. Like I think they are some good can fodder, but I would have liked to see more boss fights, enemies and with bosses that matter that like are comic book characters, like right. and stuff like that. And uh, I really did enjoy the way they portrayed Kamala Khan, and I, I think that there is like some things in here that if they extrapolated on in a different way, could have been extremely cool and a lot of fun. And I think this game, I do still have like some fun with it. I really do like playing with all of us. And like, I think where it really fucks up is the AI for your teammates when you're not playing with anyone because they just, it is, it is. This game is not fun to play single player. Like, I think like, and that's why I've been like hounding and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, come on, let's play. Like, like, let's get in there. I want to play it, but I want to play it with you guys. Yeah, I do too. And it's funny because I kind of fell off for this week playing it just because I've been, I actually have been playing Dishonored again for no reason to try and get the platinum. I noticed. Uh, And yeah, I don't know. I I truly, I I don't hate this game, but I'm not like, I'm not like, oh, what the, like, this is the best. This is the second coming of Christ or anything like that. Like, I'm truly just like, yeah. I'm not like super down on it. It's just kind of what I thought was going to happen was, okay, like the single player is like, okay. And like, it has some like good points. Like you're talking about Kamala Khan. Kamala Khan. I think really makes this whole game without her. I think it, it flops. 
Yeah. Um, she kind of is the story, and it's told through her perspective. Um, slight spoilers here as, as we kind of talk about the story, and I assume we're going to talk about the end of it, yeah, too. Yeah, we probably will. Huh? Uh, so we'll give you a, a heads up about that. But, you know, Kamala Khan is, like, the heart of this whole thing. Um, I think Troy Baker does a great job. I was Bruce actually going to say I it's, really enjoy it's, him, It's too. a very different role. Um, but, like, again, like, I think the the besides Kamala, who we haven't really seen in the MCU, all the characters, I think, at the end of the day, do feel like just knockoff versions. And yeah, I would say that paste. especially Ooh. for Iron Man and especially for Thor. They both just feel so generic. And I think Nolan North has, like, a very genericness to his characters sometimes. Like, I, I don't think Nolan North is a bad voice actor. Sure. But he should not have been playing Tony Stark. Like, this whole cast is pretty much video game all-stars voice the Avengers. And yeah. it's just kind of like, like, I don't need all these voice actors together all the time. Because they kind of are. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's, that's funny because that's something I don't really give it shit about personally See, I, when it I comes think, to like, but like again i didn't notice with troy yeah and but like with no, nolan north as as tony it's just like ugh. again it's just kind of like i don't i don't know what i think actually they probably should have done in this case was is basically what they did with the movies give me a single game about all these characters and they're also and even like like they started with spider-man and, and i get that was all that, these that's a good and then idea. they actually come together like we're getting the avengers game now where you can't, where it is kind of set up more like this, and I think if this stuff was thought through more and real and executed differently and just less generic level design, I think this game could have been really cool. But I think all the design focus went on how the combat works, but not worrying about who you're fighting or where you're fighting them, uh, and that's what kind of makes me sad. Right, those maps get old fast. They do. They're just like, it's, there's it is not the same a lot stuff. of areas, and it is the same fucking. Like, like four places. I would have liked to like. I know how there's these these specific campaign lines for each character. I wish it was me only playing as that character, and that that level was specifically tailored to Thor or to Iron Man or to whatever. Like, I think there could they could have set up some really cool like jaw dropping, like God of War. What what's the word that I'm looking for? Like those blockbuster moments, like action that, set pieces. Yeah, that like that like Uncharted and stuff do, and make it really cool. But we kind of just got an okay game in my opinion right and i think the beginning it starts out strong as the more you get into it the less it kind of i think the narrative idea is really interesting here but i feel like it's kind of been definitely done with in different ways even just with the x-men and stuff in comics and things like I, that right I, what do you mean Speak like with that. like the mutants like the mutant thing per se like these oh, mutants are the coming humans. up and then people are trying to take down the mutants like there's like they, they they create the sentinels and things like that but this is kind of just like that but with in humans right and i was just actually going to speak on that point i think crystal dynamics tried to really hit home that this is a, an original story and i just don't buy that at all there's nothing about this that's really original in humans got botched in the mcu and it hasn't been really touched since agents of shield and yeah. the inhuman series so they kind of took okay we're going to do inhumans and we're going to use uh kamala khan and we're going to kind of like as that kind of window into it yeah right and then um and then they're going to do the Avengers. They're kind of going to do like a civil war kind of thing. And then they're going to break up and then they're going to come back together. Well, we kind of already got that in the MCU with, yeah, civil, I mean, with civil war and then them coming back in infinity war to kind of fight the bad guy. But the bad guy is not really that motivating. Modoc no, he's just, he's more just like, I think I'm right. And uh, you, you were all the true bad guys and stuff. Like, like I like Monica Rappuccini. I think she was cool and like kind of how she comes sci becomes scientist supreme at the end. I guess which is what what they're gonna spoilers. I guess yeah. what, they're, what they're gonna flesh out in the DLC. Yeah, um, I, I don't know. And are, are all those characters free that they're releasing? Have they said anything about that? Uh, I don't think so. I forget. So I'm curious. Like I would be. I think most. Of the, I think. I actually this truly does set it like I, I'm not gonna I'm, lie I'm I wasn't sure. I wasn't surprised like this the way this game turned out hasn't surprised me at all and I don't think it right. surprised you either and no. uh, I that's why I truly don't think I'm not annoyed with it where I think some people might have been a little bit more upset and like this is generic and stupid I was like well this is kind of what we were we weren't promised much more than what we got really here you're not yeah which I, I, I don't think you're wrong yeah. it's not like we were over promised anything yeah. so I'll, I'll give it I'll give it to you there and it's just I think I think that there is room for really great Marvel games here. And I think like, even after Arkham, like we never really hit that like Renaissance, like Arkham came out and they were like, Oh, we can make some really cool original superhero games. 
And then Arkham well, City came out, Arkham Knight, and then now we got Spider Man and stuff too. But we never really got like I there I was just never want, there was never like a flow of those type. Of I games. would like, love to like see it really it. stopped and end with Batman. Yeah, and like, I think they could make. Or like, sorry, be- began and ended with yeah, Batman. and like <laughs> then we kind of saw Spider Man. We were like, ooh, they they're they're maybe thinking about it more. I would have liked to seen an Iron Man game or or a Captain America game, like a a specific and we, and we got one on Iron that. Man VR, and that's like very niche. And it's like, yeah. okay, well, like that's not really what we're talking about. And I think the thing that's cool, but you yeah. know, and I think the thing that truly anno- annoys me the most about this game, if anything, is seeing the potential of all these characters having their own game and how they could possibly work and how much fun it could be but we don't get that uh period on the end of it it's not it's not complete it doesn't feel right in a lot of ways yeah like like as you play the single player you kind of get the gist of this really isn't a single player game it kind of like forces you into like multiplayer scenarios and like, yeah. and like like oh the gear and it's just like oh, okay well the gear really doesn't matter until max level that's kind of how that thing goes exactly and, and like the difficulty doesn't matter you can i was switching all over the place because i'm like this is stupid fucking hard and there's yeah. no trophies that time he did do, to do anything the for like at least the whole campaign so i was just moving around a bunch i don't, I don't know about how you were doing it but yeah like Same. i wanted to play with people but i found the matchmaking system just like wouldn't fucking work. yeah it wouldn't work i get like one person and then like i wouldn't get would anyone crash. else and i'm yeah. like what's going on here like, it's like, I, like no I, one playing or I was like, your servers suck or like right i'm yeah. like what's going on here like you want me to play multiplayer but like the only way i can really do that if is if you and uh Matt Penn's a friend of the show are, yeah. are online, which it, we haven't really been able to. I think we've gotten maybe like two sessions in. Yeah, which and, is, which and I want to play more. No, like, I do too. I'm this definitely game, not. This game is a. We're probably going to primarily talk about the single player and like uh, the b- multiplayer, but the end game and like the replayability of this game is the multiplayer and like these new Avengers that they're that are going to come out with where. Maybe in like six months, this is a different game. But for ne- like it, like it, like Destiny seems to be. Yeah, no, and even for like the way For Honor just kind of tur- and like yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is ne- necessarily starting off at, at as at at as bad of a place. Well, as, it's like, a some game's of terrible, a service. Like, it's not yeah, designed it, yeah. to be. <laughs> exactly. Which is which is funny. Like you look at games like Destiny. I feel like all I hear about Destiny is about how its own fans don't like. It, but they and then still it's like, but they play. still play. Yeah, so right. it really does. All I hear is, is about how bad things are in Destiny Two, and then, but people are still playing it. Yeah. So like, I like, but like, I'm like, I don't want that for this. No, I don't either. Take the Marvel property out of it. Sucks. Well, yeah, but I feel like you can say that about like every <sighs> thi- like. There's. Could you? I mean, like, was, take I'm, Batman out of Arkham. It's still a pretty like nicely like game mechanically. It works. Sure, like it's I not, guess, it's but not, like we're not talking about. Oh, but the, then that game makes no sense if well, you're just I mean, a vigil. Like you know what I mean? But like, right? I, I'm just saying, replace the story with something that isn't a fleshed out IP. Does Batman sell Arkham Knight? Sure, but I think that could it could it stand on its own two feet as an original IP? I think so. I disagree. Well, I think because that makes that makes that so. Like, sure, maybe you could take all those mechanics and put them into a different game, but you'd have to cr- like to create something that would draw people in to the same degree and that would still make sense like with every single mechanic uh, I just, right right there's there's a lot of there's a lot of like holes in that and like, uh, like sure, talking I guess, points to why it might yeah. not work but I'm like for the sake of like the conversation like take the Avengers out of the Avengers and it's a shitty game the Avengers sells it. That's why we got it. I'm not gonna lie. I we both no. Won- that's true. I'm like yeah, it's a game as a service, and that it ha- and definitely having Avengers, having it be an Avengers games as a service game is definitely selling it. Yeah, I could get, right. That makes sense. Right. That's because that's what I'm saying. If yeah. this game was like, you know, the the uh, the, the super the, happy the, the, Justice the, League. No. Right. The group. The group from space fight bad guy. And um, there was no Avengers. I wouldn't have bought this. Well, that's up. true. But like, I was also I, questioning it from the start. But then I'm like, like what? Also, like what would? The, yeah, I don't know. I I think that's just kind of like a bar that aside. This game needed a little bit more th- thought put into it and into what of what we're doing and and what's actually going on in the game rather than being like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if we had an Avengers game? Right, and, and, I th- and, and I think that's what Crystal Dynamics did, and they you know they're coming hot off the heels of the their Tomb Raider trilogy, which. Yeah. Like and they do do good single player games like go, fine right anyways, I yeah. will he, here's where like you know you know all the issues I've had with mm. Rise and Shadow the Tomb yeah. Raider I'll be very critical about Crystal Dynamics here they make a a okay game 
and and that's pretty much it i'm not gonna say they're a trash developer but like well, the experiences and difficulties and glitches and bugs that are in yeah, avengers i, feel I like had in rise and shadow of the tomb raider i had to replay the game both of those games twice because there was a bug that i couldn't finish the fucking game i ran into a lot of issues when it was in cinematics and, in avengers yeah like a and there's lot of there, clipping we didn't hit it but of, like yeah. there are a ton of bugs in avengers people's heads fucking coming off like duplicate one with cap's eyes like poking yeah out like, like it's riddled with bugs yeah. and but i see it when i look at it i'm like i see tomb raider in this yeah like i can see those issues and like that shitty foundation i like i don't know what engine they're on but like i don't know man it just it just falls flat in a lot of ways and you know again who knows this game could change in six months it could like Like, that has happened a lot so right you know and it's apparently they're getting it i'm not either apparently they're getting like really crazy characters like dr strange captain marvel like and who knows what they're gonna do are we gonna add a lot of story to that supposedly each one of them is gonna get their own campaign like all of the avengers have so we'll see. And I kind of question, like, okay, like, well, is it the, just going to be the campaigns what? we have for the individuals is not that good. It's they're fine. Yeah, you know? like they're not. Are we going to add more maps? Like, I just I have so many questions. Yeah, I do too. And I and I feel like this game came out. People played it, and like either people are like, there's a minority that are in love with it, and yeah. there's a majority who are just like, okay, it's fine. Or it's yeah. I don't. Uh, what were the re- what were the like the reviews at? I didn't even. See. I don't know. I, I didn't, didn't really, really see like at... IG like you know the stereotypical IGN reviews. Well, because I know there were ones where they were like, all right, well, this is the review for the campaign, and then this is the review for the multiplayer or whatever. Right, because they so, are yeah. kind of like two... no, they are separate beasts. Right. Yeah, and the but the game at the end of the day, it's not single player. It is multiplayer. No, it is, and I think that's where and, and, I and that's say... something you gotta you gotta think of, like. Um, having your mind when you're buying this game like somebody asked me he's like oh Gooch let me know what you think of Avengers like and like this is a, a kid I used to work with at Regal not, yeah. not while you were there sure. you don't know shout out to Jonas if he's gonna listen to this um, and I told him like dude it's not like Spider-Man I'm like I wouldn't uh, buy it and go in and expect to have like that cool like single player in depth experience. experience like yeah. you have a very short okay single player campaign and then the rest is multiplayer yeah. like <sighs> Like I it, like I I'm like I can't recommend it, man. Yeah, and I, it sucks I would wait until like, it's gone. I do sale. think there are a lot of fun moments when from what we played multiplayer wise, when you're all in there together and like someone's playing as Iron Man, someone's playing as Hulk, someone's playing as Thor, whatever, like you are all kind of handling the different enemies as necessary. Like Iron Man's staying up in the sky, he's taking out all the drones, Hulk's getting the big guys, Thor is also helping with that. Like I think there are some cool moments when you do get that full team together, and I'm like, oh, this is what they were going for. Right, but, but there's those not moments. Are... There's, they're fleeting, and they're right. not, and they're few and far between, and that's the thing that sucks. But like, there are like I did have that one spot. It was more actually even during the beta when I was like, oh, this is like this could be cool. This could be really cool, and hopefully they expand upon it more. That's all I can say, I guess. I one more thing before we ended up. I wanted to talk about like, did you like like the ending? Spoilers for the ending. I thought it was pretty cool like i actually i thought the like kamala like you know getting big and then fucking up modok and shit but did they just leave (laughs) did they just leave him in the the sentry who modok i think he just blew up but like what was that thing like that shot out of the sentry's chest i think it was a kree thing I assume that was Modok like escaping but i was like did they just leave him i mean it's a kree sentry right yeah so it's like a Kree like maybe it's saying, beacon. Yeah. Hmm. so I'm like okay like they're teeing up maybe Captain Marvel or some shit yeah. um, and then like you know they tee up Scientist Supreme with Monica and like okay like AIM is gonna play another role um, but like we didn't talk I, I kind of started talking about MODOK I don't like how they do MODOK it's like oh he's George Charlton he, he's going through this like therapy or monica's like experimenting on him and he doesn't really know and then he kind of becomes modok and it's like oh he's modok and everyone's like no, oh modok yeah like, no, modok i am now modok yeah and i agree that was that was the, that was the shortness of the campaign showing and it just i think that narrative that they had here could be really cool if expanded upon even so more did, did you have subtitles on in that last mission did you notice the script being different from what they were actually saying like the oh, script in my subtitles was different and more expansive like right. literally I am looking at different words that are coming out of these people's mouth. Like I'm like, what is this? Crystal, what are you guys doing? I was like, did they leave like yeah. a, another version of the script in the game? Like that's what I was mentioning to you earlier. Because I've seen I saw it before. Yeah. And I was just like, that's not like what is on the closed captions that subtitles is not what's happening on screen. Make any sense at all. 
I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Again, yeah. I'll, I'm going to play it a little more. Like, you know, I'm going to probably yeah, I'm not giving try up to on plat it. it. I don't, you know. But again, it's not a game I'm like trying to rush through right now. Like, I'm, I guess I'm playing it and like, you know, I'm like, okay, like if these guys don't want to play right now, I want to play a little bit. So I'll jump on, try to like, you know, uh, squad up with some randos and mm-hmm. do some shit. But, you know, I th- it's, it, yeah, it's not know. a game I'm trying to like rush through. I'll play it, but I'm not playing it a ton. Yeah, I wouldn't pay sixty bucks for this right now either. No, for sure. No, especially like, so, as next gen approaches. You know, we got a lot coming up that I think you're good. PlayStation, to yeah, hold so, out. We'll talk about that on the next one. But Gooch, I think that does it for us, right? Sure. Awesome, guys. Thank you all so much for watching live on twitch.tv slash Duck Under Network. We very much appreciate it. Uh, you can find this podcast on all your favorite services. Just search Duck Under Network. Uh, we are also on all the socials at Delco Nerds. Uh, you can just look up our name on Facebook. We should pop right up. Uh, all this information can be found on our website, DelcoNerdNetwork.com. For Gooch, I've been Trio. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay nerdy, and we will see you next time. Casey, glad to see Gooch enjoyed the game. <laughs> <laughs>